Hey everybody, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So this particular day, me and my sis, we went to a halal grocery store. I hope I'm saying this right. However, we are just checking out this new store. It's north of the river from where we stay. She stay more east, I stay more north. But this is further. So now I'm looking in the area where they had the sweet treats. Now over here was more like it was you know, treats for children and stuff. Um, and then it doesn't have to necessarily be for just children, but, you know, these are like the little canned cookies, like, you know, what they um, make, you know, and stuff. So I was checking out these little sweet treats, and they look delicious, y'all. Now, I don't know the name of a lot of these things that they have, but um, i seen some of these kind of like, made uh in our in the regular grocery store in like the specialty aisles uh you know in like walmart or target or something sometimes they have a few of these type of items but they don't have like a very large quantity you know catered to um you know uh, uh religious people so however we are here at the store, and we're checking it out. Now, these were some pickled cucumbers. They looked it so delicious, y'all. They looked it just like regular pickles. <laughs> kind of like a pickle in a, what is that, okra type? Now, these are chef stable items here um, for as like pickled um, red um, onions and stuff like that. Now, this is their produce area. There was not much in the produce area. Um, the green beans didn't look the best, but. <laughs> and then now we're up here at the drink area. That's right over the produce area. Showing you the different types of drinks they had. Now, I was interested in that mango and that pomegranate drink. And I may go back and get some of that. Because pomegranate is so good for you. And then I was also interested in this coconut drink with the pulp. And this one as well, the basil seed lache drink. And they had some really nice looking things, you know. Um, this is eggplant. I've never cooked with eggplant, and I heard it's very good to cook with. And I'm interested in trying to cook with eggplant. So please comment down below if you ever cooked with eggplant before. And what did you make with it? And let me know if it's a good suggestion for a good uh, vegetable to cook with. Because I am very interested in cooking with eggplant in some of my dishes, you know, other than just zucchini and squash. I want to kind of transfer it out and do a couple other things. Okay, so here's their raisins, their nuts, their seeds. And I forgot to put that in on here saying what this area was. But, um, yeah, they had some very interesting things. Now, this is their bread. It's kind of like a non-bread. Yeah, that, they, that uh, is homemade fresh and made not those are packaged but the ones down at the bottom was homemade fresh and they were very soft y'all so i heard that the non-bread pizza is very good now over here is all the different flavors of basmati rice that they have in the store i love basmati rice i love cooking with it i will always cook with basmati rice from now on <laughs> um well, I also have brown rice, too, but I cook with basmati. I love basmati rice. I can do any and everything with basmati rice. Now, over here, um, I believe these were bags where they had, like, their seasonings. Or that looks like it was a tea, but it looked like a spice or something or a seasoning. But, um, sis grabbed one. <laughs> so, this here was also um, a seasoning or a type of package uh, sumac you could bake with or something. Okay, so now I'm going on down in the area down here on the second shelf, and this was the season she said that they pretty much use 
uh, when cooking and stuff. So here are the beans, like the monk beans and type of beans that you use and stuff for different recipes and stuff. So I just wanted to post that and show you. Um, there's some difference between our regular grocery stores and theirs. And I like it because you can find a lot of the type of spices here at their grocery stores that I cannot find in our local grocery stores that I have even read in my books and was looking for. So, um, they also, this here that I kept putting the camera on, this is kind of like the kale, powder kale stuff that you use uh, to put in like your uh, smoothies and stuff. Yeah. You can do that with cooking and you can do the same thing with that. Now here is the oils and butter. I did not know they had shelf stable butter, but they do. See, that's butter geek. <laughs> so um, then you go up here, you see the can cuts and see your jelly jams and syrups um, up here. See, that's a syrup right there. And um, that's some black seed oil. It was $11, $11.99 going back to get that <laughs> and here we go y'all sun-dried tomatoes we were talking about this on one of the lives sun-dried tomatoes so we will be going back because it's very rare i think walmart carries sun-dried tomatoes but these were like 4.99 so i'm gonna pick up me a thing of sun-dried tomatoes <coughs> now down here is some more oils you know, like grape seed oil, avocado oil, and of course they have vegetable and canola too. <coughs> Excuse me. And some uh, sun, what is it? Sesame seed oil. Now I was saying when I shake my finger, no, that means that's not good because that type of oil has been processed for multiple countries. This one is the best one. This one here, it's only one type of processing area and that was uh, avocado oil. It's only had one ingredient, so that's good for you. Pick up anything. When you read your labels, read your labels good. When you get your oils, when you pick them up, you want to make sure that they come out from under one specific um, processing company. It's very hard now to find them where they are because some of them is where they process from different countries and stuff. Now here was a homemade olive oil because they had already homemade package and I am going back to get me some of that homemade olive oil, y'all. <laughs> um, capers, they had uh, pickled and fermented foods. Um, you got your pickled garlic, different flavors and stuff. Now over here was some more sweet treats, y'all. These are cookies and cakes, sugar-free type of treats and stuff. I think I did come across some that said sugar-free or something. But, um, yeah, they had a lot of these types of treats. I think that was, that. yeah, that was sugar-free right there. And those little white bulls and stuff. So, um, I really enjoyed taking this trip with my sister today on this day. Um, we had a ball. We even went live. I even went live uh, on this particular day because we went to a church that's not far from her where they did a food bank uh, giveaway. You only get like one bag or something, but that's okay. We got some really good things in that one bag. <laughs> so if you guys really enjoy these type of videos, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if I need to bring more like these type of videos, you know, to you guys. And... Um, I love to go to different stores so you guys can, can see um, what they have. And you might have like a local uh, hala store in your town or state um, or, you know, specialty stores. Let's just say it there like that. Specialty stores in your town or state that you have not ever tried but you might want to go to and try and see what they have. So try it out. Look, y'all, they even got chips. Look at this. Different flavor ones, too. <laughs> and then we have the seasonings here. Oh, spices, actually. Not seasonings. Spices. You know, so, yeah. So, try it out. And then come back and let me know if you enjoy going to a different store. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm not over here. 
this part mm-hmm. here was the freezer section. This is where they had their meat. It looked like lamb to me. Um, diced beef or lamb or something. So, um, cause my sister, she was looking for the chicken and the diced beef or ground beef that they had. There they had uh, their ground beef in the rolls, but where she normally usually go, it's already packaged up and ready to go. So right there is where they had their ground beef. But then over here, we going down. I just tried to, this store was so big, y'all. I didn't even go into certain areas because they even had fabric. They had things that you can put in your home. I mean, there was a whole section my sister said, did you come over here and look at this? I didn't even make it over there to that section. So I was like, maybe next time I'll come back. I'll start over there and record. (laughs) So, um... These were apple pie pastries, y'all. Already made. Put in the freezer. Y'all, this is what I do at home is make different, you know, ready-to-go meals. Like these here. Pre-packaged microwavable meals. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, oven. Well, mine's just oven, you know, oven. But you could pop them out the pan, put them in the microwave. But you put them on your plate. Put them in the microwave. Eat them up. You know, but these here are just, you know, it's amazing to see that they have these types of delicious meals and things here. But thank you guys. I really appreciate all my new subscribers for coming in and being a part of the channel and supporting us. Supporting me and supporting the channel. You know, we are a support team to one another as I bring these this good content to you guys as well as um, you being here and seeing what, what I do to you know, put it out there so we all can enjoy having um, a good, basically good quality of life because some things we, we're so familiar with, what we're familiar with, and tell them we don't want to try something new, but let's try something new all together. So we're going to show you this great big fish that was in the freezer area. Check it out. Look at all this great big old fish. Look big old fish. Mm-hmm. These are huge. These are huge fish. The price for this fish is $20. Wow. Mm-hmm. Man, here's a little packet. Uh, these are cool. Huh? Oh, that's one. That's just one. Mm-hmm. Is that a small one in there? He $18. This one's good. Okay. There you are. Okay. I'm going to subscribe.